Welcome to a video from thedigitallife.com. In this video we're going to have a look at this Acer Aspire R11 laptop. It's a traditional laptop style. Um, it is a touch screen which I'll show you more in a sec and it does have a 360 hinge which I'll show you as well. So first look at the design. It's white plastic. It's um, fairly solidly built. That white plastic looks quite nice. I can imagine that's going to look a little bit on the um, that'll get a bit dirty over time, but yeah, it looks nice. I like that. It's got Ethernet port, full size Ethernet port, full size USB 3, USB 2, and and full size HDMI with the headphone as well. So you've got full size ports on there, no micro ports, uh, sort of in keeping with the traditional design. The screen is 1366 by 768, so not really that high res, and you can probably tell all this from the camera, it's very reflective, you can see there. Um, not so good for outdoors, really, that reflecting of it. I mean, it looks nice and shiny from here, and using it now, but it is very reflective, and I said a little bit on the low res side. And the overall package, I should say this is about 149, 194 pounds I've seen this, so we're not talking a high-end device here. So the whole package is a little bit budget feel. Um, it's got an Intel Celeron 3050 chip, 4 gig of RAM and a 500 gig um, spinning hard drive, which is quite noisy actually, I can hear that. You, I'm not sure the camera will pick it up, but you can hear the, the drive spinning as well. That combination of specs does mean it's a little bit slow um, opening web pages there you can see it's not not too bad but if I start to open some stuff up you'll see that it's a little bit slow I can hear the hard drive thrashing away there while it's uh, trying to open that stuff so I've, I've found lower spec devices um, actually faster than this that have had the sort of install which has got the uh, spinning non-spinning hard drives but anyway, like I said, it is, it is a, uh, a budget device and in many respects you get what you pay for. I just found this a little bit on the, on the slow side, um, navigating around, you know, opening tabs, that kind of thing. It really does depend you know, what you want to use it for. If you're looking for a machine to do video editing, this probably isn't the one. If you're do, looking for a, a machine that can do a bit of web browsing, email, which Netflix, then this is pretty good on that. So like I said, it's a bit sluggish, um, but the good side with having that low spec processor is I'm getting well over eight and a half hours battery life out of this. So plenty of battery. Um, so if it's if battery life is important to you, then this can deliver that. So that's a good thing. Now I did mention this screen, like I said, it is a touch screen, which I do like, especially uh, when you're using Edge for scrolling up and down web pages. So I quite like that having that combination of um, a touch screen with a laptop. But it also means you can change it around and use it in different modes. So maybe if you're on a plane and you want to watch a movie, you can have it like that and Windows 10 will automatically switch it into tablet mode for you. Um, you can have it completely flat and use it as like a, a tablet format, which Windows supports quite well, but then you do end up with a bit of thickness on there um, when you're using it in tablet mode so it's probably a little bit on the heavy side for for a tablet um, it feels it but it does feel quite chunky so but you can use it as a tablet so you have got that versatility with it which is which is which is quite nice as well the keyboard itself is is fairly decent um, island keys not too much travel, nicely well spaced out, there's no number pad or anything like that but it does support a uh, it has a trackpad which supports things like two finger scrolling um, I think that's probably all the gestures it seems to support they call it accurate uh, some accurate pad or something like that but uh, I found it fairly reasonable, I've seen a few people commenting um, that they don't like the trackpad but I don't think that's too bad the keys themselves you could do plenty of typing on there so I, I think the sort of the form factor it, it's okay they've got this I quite like the large trackpad on there it comes with quite a few things installed as many of these devices do nowadays um, some good like Firefox if you like that kind of thing Firefox is good personally I use Edge now but um, Firefox is a good browser 
but it also comes with some things like Norton uh, internet security which is on like a trial basis and it's going to nag you for a full version of that at some point and make you pay for it and I prefer to use Windows Defender that's built into Windows 10. Um, there's some other stuff on there, there's Avast Secure Line and uh, so there's some PDF readers on there. Um, a few apps which you know which are fine. I don't mind in those. Some of the Ace's own apps, like the AB Docs and things like that. AB is Ace's own sort of cloud storage document management system for sharing documents between devices. They're all installed on there. And there's some other things like eBay and bookings. Most that you can get rid of. This is the one I probably like like the least, but it seems to be the way that Acer. Um, HP and other manufacturers are all all do that. All seem to do that. So I've tried um, a couple of games on here, and the, the performance is is okay. It's like I said, you've got this little the, the sluggish load time through the spinning drive. So I think once things are up and running, and that's fine. I just find things are a little bit slow when you're opening up pages. So overall I'd say that 200, less than 200 quid you can't really complain about the the sluggishness too much. There probably are faster machines on there but you get this nice form factor with the 360 hinge so you can flip it all the way around. It's got a touch screen on there, reasonably good keyboard and very good battery life. So I think it's definitely worth looking at if you're looking for a budget machine. So there are others on the market that do similar things and all have similar compromises around the price. But I actually quite like this one. Personally, it's not the form factor I would go for. I like a small theatre type device, but less than 200 quid. You want a laptop to do a bit of eBay in, a bit of browsing, iPlayer, Netflix. This is actually quite a good device for that. So thanks for watching this video. Look on our uh, YouTube channel and you can see other uh, laptops and tablets we've reviewed and uh, look at Windows and lots of other stuff. So you can find me on Twitter at isdixon. Thanks for watching this video.